Okay, hello and welcome back to Practical Knife Reviews. Uh, today we're taking a look at the SOG Aegis FL. This was in the clamshell pack. Uh, it's a, you know, it, it's a regular thumb stud opening modern knife. Once in a while I've been able to like flick it, yeah, there we go, flick it open with my thumb, but that doesn't usually happen. It's usually just a roll open with your thumb. In any case, uh, steel frame lock. 8CR MOV uh, stainless steel blade, which of course is not the highest grade of stainless steel, but you know, SOG, they have a pretty good heat treatment. You can see deep carry pocket clip here. We'll, we'll take a closer look inside at all of the, the nuance here, but we'll just see how this works. And before I mention that, I'll just mention the price on this. You can get it from SMKW for a whopping, what do you think, Ma? SOG. All metal frame lock. Seventeen bucks. Nine ninety nine. So that's that. Let's take it. Uh, we'll do the apples first. Oh, we'll do the paper first. What am I doing? I'm all over the place. First, is this knife sharp at this moment in time? This knife. Oops. Paper's a little bit wet from sitting out here in the snow, but this knife is sharp. Very, very sharp. Okay, cardboard. Let's see how this does with some just plain old corrugated cardboard. A little bit more resistance on that second cut. The first one was really easy. Third one was really easy. Second one, I think I just caught the, yeah, if you catch it directly across all of the layers, it's a little bit tougher, but still, it, it slices through pretty well. Okay, let's take a look now at the apple. Jeez, I'm really all over the place today. Okay, here is our obligatory mention that I am a bad apple peeler, but... If this is your EDC and you want to peel an apple because you're somebody that doesn't eat apple peel, this is something that you theoretically could be doing. Though I'm quite bad at it. It's a nice sharp edge, and uh, I guess we should look. It's a full flat grind with a secondary bevel. There's a little bit of a yucky spot there. But. You can peel it just fine. It's not the easiest for peeling that I've used, but it's also not terrible. I've certainly used worse. The issue is, is that this is a pretty tall handle. So when you do this reverse grip, it feels nice if you really clench down on it. So if you're doing a reverse grip into wood, uh, into wood, like this, like a chest lever grip, this is actually quite comfortable, right? But when you try to keep your hand open to get around something, this belly is right into the middle of your palm. So it's not the most comfortable for that specific usage. Okay, now let's look at wood. Here we have some pine, which is a softwood. How does it work on the softwood? Well, we're sharp. Very little effort behind it. Let's pick a different... And this isn't really a good piece for this, but we'll find a corner that'll work. Very little effort behind this. This full flat grind is going pretty well into it. And I'll mention it's it's actually pretty comfortable in the hand. The pocket clip isn't really creating any sort of hot spot or anything like that. And uh, yeah, you know, these feathers are pretty decent. Definitely could start a fire. Uh, let's take a look at a piece of red oak. This, as I always mention, is the hardest wood in our forest. And now once I get into it, again, not a ton of effort here. This is going quite well. A full flat grind makes it a little bit tough to find the right angle because the the angle is continuous all the way from the top to the bottom so if you miss the angle you really don't have any guide to get back onto it but once you figure out the angle that you want to go at 
And those are some pretty decent feathers on a pretty hard wood for a pocket knife. So, yeah, that's our look outside here at the SOG Aegis FL. I uh, mentioned the lockup and stuff is all nice. We'll look closer at that when we get inside as well as the pocket clip and all of that. But uh, Ma, how do you think that this knife worked out here? I think it performed well. I don't think it was great for peeling an apple. It was great for feather sticking. Uh, but the over, like to me, the overall looks of it, really industrial, prison-looking knife for me. So it's it's it wouldn't be my favorite. But from a functionality standpoint, it's functionality it did great on feather sticking. Let's see. Hey, I got it. I'm not great at flicking it with my thumb, and this also is just using. I believe plastic washers. I don't even know if they're Teflon. They might be Teflon washers. But uh, yeah, you can flick it, but it doesn't normally work all that well. In any case, we'll take it inside now and take a closer look at the knife. Just a brief cut. Uh, we had some people coming inside the house, uh, family members that is. We are social distancing from the world at this point. But uh, yeah, just a brief in interruption. That way you didn't have to <laughs> hear everybody coming through. In any case, like I was saying, a nice stonewashed finish. I actually like the finish on this quite a bit, and I've used it quite a bit. And you can see the blade still looks pretty nice. I did just wash it off before we came out here to uh, wash the apple off of it. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't really get marked up or anything. And I think that the point that we got cut off, I said 8CRMOV isn't the greatest steel in the world, but this heat treat seems to be pretty decent on this. It holds the edge all right. Okay. Let's look at some fit and finish regarding stuff. Uh, like I said, the frame lock locks right where I want it to. But once in a while it gets pretty sticky and it, it doesn't disengage very well. Not sure why that is. In any case, the action is smooth. Came like that out of the factory. I didn't have to take it apart uh, and grease it up. See, it got sticky again right there. Sometimes that happens. I don't know why. Uh, if you know why sometimes the frame lock comes open nice and easy and sometimes it's really sticky, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. In any case, I didn't have to take this apart to grease it up or anything like that, but the action is nice and smooth. See, at that time it unlocked nice. Uh, the centering of the blade is pretty much dead center. It doesn't get much better than that. And uh, yeah, I mean, overall, the fit and finish, you can't really complain about it, especially for a $10 knife. The pocket clip is deep carry. It works pretty well. The screws are not recessed, so you can catch them, but they aren't protruding too far. You can see the screws right there holding the clip in place. But in any case, yeah, overall the fit and finish is pretty nice. So let's get some measurements now. Well, Ma, you talk about what you think of it. It's not my style of knife. The, between the metal handle, it's just kind of a bit metallic-y, clunky looking to me. And, I'm not real fond of that kind of a blade shape. It's more of a dangerous kind of a blade shape to me. All the all blades should be dangerous. And this one I don't really like. Okay, this one we're looking at right about 8 inches long with a blade length overall of about 3.5 inches and a cutting length of maybe just a hair over 3 and a quarter. Right around 3 and a quarter, maybe a shade above that. Uh, closed, we're looking at right about four and a half inches. All right, let's get our weight measurement real quick and then we'll let you out of here. Get that turned on, get these lights moved. Yeah, you should be able to see that. We're looking at 5.2 ounces, like I said. 149, 148 grams. Like I said, it is pretty heavy because of the stainless steel frame lock. Uh, for its size, it is pretty, pretty bulky, um, or not bulky, but it's just heavy. It's a heavy knife for its size, but for 10 bucks, yeah, that didn't work that time. For 10 bucks, it is definitely a functional shape. I like the full flat grind on it. You don't find uh, too, too many knives. I mean, I guess in, in some of the more uh, modern knives you do see full flat grinds, but uh, for me, I don't have too many knives with full flat grinds, so it's nice to have a different 
blade geometry. You can see this nice, uh, really long spear point blade. I do like the blade shape, whereas she does not. But uh, yeah, all of these screws are recessed nicely. Everything's smooth on the handle. No real place to catch the back of the, of the uh, blade right there. So yeah, 10 bucks. Definitely uh, recommend going out and getting one of these for ten dollars. You're not going to beat that. Any final words from you, Mom? Nope, I think we covered it well. All right, that'll be it for the SOG Aegis FL. I'll include the link to the uh, ten dollar clam pack from SMKW in the description. And uh, that'll be it for this episode of Practical Knife Reviews. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you again very soon.